the same day the New York Times releases a report saying Camden County school staff are being told to keep quiet about COVID-19 cases. News for Jax is hearing from an employee who confirms that report. According to the report, an email from the deputy superintendent told school administrators that, quote, staff with test positive should not notify any other staff members or anyone else about their potential exposure. News for Jax reporter Marilyn Parker joins us live tonight. Marilyn, you spoke with an employee who provided you a copy of an email they received from the deputy superintendent. Yes, and we're keeping them anonymous, but they did send us that email. They say it was first sent to school principals, then to the rest of the staff. They say they aren't aware of any cases at their school, but when it comes to this email, they call it unethical and concerning. This is the email from the Camden County Deputy Superintendent John Miller to district employees on August 5th, the day after school reopened in the fall. It says, quote, Staff who test positive are not to notify any other staff members, parents of their students, or any other person slash entity that they may have exposed them, end quote. The school district employee who sent us this email wants to remain anonymous, but tells me, I feel as if the district wasn't being transparent with their parents, students, or staff. As a staff member, I was concerned that I wasn't even able to make my colleagues that I come in contact with on a regular basis aware should I myself test positive for COVID-19. The email goes on to say, quote, it's not their job to do so. This is handled and initiated through contact tracing by the Department of Public Health. If this occurs, we will work with DPH and give you further direction on contacting other individuals who they deem as being exposed so they may take proper precautions based on the decision guide. News for Jax has reached out to the district multiple times with questions and to confirm causative cases, but they refused. The New York Times reports some parents were told by local officials to quarantine their children and more rumors spread pointing to at least nine positive cases in the district and entire classes being quarantined since school reopened. The employee I spoke with says I'm not aware of positive cases at our school, but wouldn't know because that information is not being shared with staff and that I feel it's unethical for my employers to dictate who I choose to speak with about my own health conditions. According to the district reopening plan, students and staff who experience COVID-19 like symptoms will follow protocols in place at the schools. The DOH will conduct contact tracing, but the plan doesn't include if the district will communicate positive cases to anyone. And that email sent out didn't say anything about what happens to those employees if identified who give out that information and the employee I spoke with also says they don't know what will happen, but says their colleagues are in fear of speaking out against the county's handling of COVID-19 in their schools. Reporting live tonight, Marilyn Parker, Channel 4, The Local Station.